You know, Wayne, there's, there's so many terms and acronyms used in the financial world. What is an RIA? A lot of people might hear that term and not even know what it is. Isn't it an IRA? <laughs> <Isn't> that, <laughs> that is one of them. <laughs> that is, you know, it, it's, it's amazing because we are an RIA today. And it's an amazing journey that we've made from the time I started out. Well, my first job I was hired and put at a desk and told to call out of the yellow pages and sell <laughs> mutual funds. <laughs> That's it's a long distance. A registered investment advisor is someone that gives financial advice, investment advice to wealthy people. That's what the dictionary says. If you Google it, that's what it says. You know, in our term, we take a little bit further than that because we do planning. We do financial planning, and we really believe that the financial planning is as important or more important mm -hmm. than the investing. What's happening when, we, when you go from where we were to where we are today, we went from a brokerage world that makes a lot of rules and has a lot of hurdles because mm -hmm. there's thousands of people in the business and they've got to make those rules based on 17,000 people or 5,000 right. people, depending on how many people are in the company. And that, that those rules don't have anything to do with me. It doesn't have anything to do with my client. It, it is, they aren't helping us be more honest. They aren't helping us. They actually curtail us doing the best. So to me, what being a registered investment advisor is, is it's freedom. Freedom. It's freedom to do what we need to do. I like that. And, and what does that mean for our clients? I mean, our clients are everything to us. So what does that mean for our clients with this change now that we are in our RA? Well, the, the benefit of that is we have the freedom to get technology, better technology. Mm -hmm. The same technology I've used, except in the brokerage world, it had to be limited because rules. <laughs> because, and now I get to use a street version, which is more, more robust, has more options. I can go out and um, not hire, but buy services, buy technology, get better technology, and I can really build my practice based on how I want to serve clients and how I and Craig want to do the best for our clients. That's great. Wayne, what, what challenges exist by becoming our own RIA? You have to be honest, but I am. Yeah, I was going <laughs> yeah, to say, that's I, not a challenge I, for you. I grew up in a county, you, could, you can't lie in one end of the county and get to the other end before the lie gets there. My grandma would have slapped me silly if she ever caught me lying. Right. I, I, you know, you got to be honest. You, can, you can't mislead people. You can't be fraudulent. Uh, though it's pretty simple. You, you need to do what's best for the client. And the SEC is there. The SEC is, is the watchdog. They mm -hmm. will come in and look at us. Yeah. Uh, but you just got to follow the rules. And here we know who we're accounting to. Where before, when we were in the brokerage world, we had about eight different people, eight different levels, eight different corporations, eight, 50 states that we're all accountable to. And they all had diff little different rules. It was tough. Yeah, that sounds tough. So what I'm hearing is it's good for the client, good for the firm, good for the future, good for our pra your practice. It's good for planning. It's good for planning. And that is why we took this step, is to become an RIA, a registered investment advisor, so that we could serve our clients, people that engage with us, so that we can help them be their best.